Kelly McQuaig here, pastor of Grace United Methodist Church of Alamogordo and Tularosa, New Mexico. And we are here of Tuesday of Holy Week with another Holy Week hymn from none other than Charles Wesley. Of course, Charles Wesley was that great hymn writer of the Methodist movement. Um, he wrote anywhere between 7,000 and 13,000 hymns. We don't really know, but there are so many hymns in his, his catalog that speak so mightily of, of God's act of love and grace through Jesus Christ during this week of Holy Week. And there's one particular one today that I want to direct us to that connects very powerfully with one of the final stories of Christ's life during that Holy Week. In many of the Gospels, we see a story of Jesus at a, at a party at a dinner table and a woman comes in um, and, and she breaks a jar of perfume and, and pours it over Christ's body. And um, the disciples look at that and they're, they're disgusted, right? They are um, they're just aghast that, that this woman would waste such a, a beautiful and expensive perfume. But what does Jesus do? Jesus chastises the disciples and he honors the woman because she made this great sacrifice of love out of a sense of worship for her Lord. And that's exactly what Christ did that week. He made this great sacrifice of love and we are called to be like Christ. We are called to be like that woman. We are called to sacrifice things of great expense in the act of love for another person. Charles Wesley wrote some verses um, and, and it's, a, and it's a, a verse that can be sung to the tune of take my life and let it be and that's what I'm going to sing um, these verses, uh, these two verses for us today as we explore this hymn of the week, looking at this encounter between Jesus and the woman who broke the jar of perfume and our responsibility, our call to do the same. Jesus justifies expense toward himself profusely showed works of such magnificence praises as sincerely good offerings of a willing heart small or great he deigns to prove stamps them with his own desert loves whate'er proceeds from love let me thus her zeal record, thus my own for Jesus prove. Render to my dearest Lord all I prize and all I love. Him embalm with contrite tears, Him perfume with humble sighs, Till the rising God appears, mounts and draws me to the skies. Aren't those beautiful words? Beautiful words of reminding us of the sacrificial act of the woman. Listen to what he says at the end of verse 1. God loves whatever proceeds from love. So this act that the woman did, she did it out of love. And it didn't matter if it was wasteful. It didn't matter if, if this was the most expensive thing she ever owned. She gave it out of love and Christ loves that. Christ loves whatever proceeds from love. And then of course we are called to do the same thing. And, and Wesley uh, has us sing and has us pray that our zeal would be the same as hers. That, that our gift would be the same as hers. That we, would, that we would pour the perfume of our love and our tears upon Him with our, with our humility, that that would bless Him, and that we would do all of this until God appears again in our lives, until God returns and, and restores and redeems this world. So as you continue into this Holy Week, may that, that example from that woman be, be before you. May, may you remember her action, may you remember her sacrifice, May you remember the great act of worship that she did and may your actions, your actions that proceed from love, may they fill your days this Holy Week because God loves whatever proceeds from love. May everything we do this week proceed from that same love. Be blessed. Have a wonderful, wonderful Tuesday of Holy Week 
And be sure to turn in tomorrow as we check out another Holy Week hymn for Wednesday of Holy Week leading up to Easter as we follow Jesus, as we follow his journey to the cross. Take care, be blessed, we'll see you soon.